Okay, so here's a sample problem where we um, need to fill in the missing information on a flexible budget performance report. So we might as well start at the top and they give us the output units, actual versus the flexible budget versus the master budget. And then we are given sales revenue, operating expenses, variable expenses, fixed expenses, and total operating expenses. So first thing we need to do is fill in the um, titles here. So if you recall, the difference between the actual and the flexible budget is called the flexible budget variance. And then the difference between the budget flexible budget and the master budget is called the volume variance. So um, the output units here, now we have to figure out, we've got actual of 25,000, flexible budget is unknown, and the master budget is 30,000. Well, the flexible budget is always at the same level as actual, so that will be 25,000 units. Sales revenue, actual was 240, and we had a $5,000 favorable variance. So if that's favorable, that means that my flexible budget was lower at 235 because our revenues were higher than what we had budgeted for. That would give us a favorable variance. Moving on down, excuse me, um, we've got E here, which is variable expenses. Now, variable expenses are going to be based on actual volume. So uh, we'll have to work backwards here. So. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little calculating here. So if we take the 187.5, which is our variable expenses, and we divide it by the 30,000, which is the output units, 187.5 divided by the 30,000 units is going to give us the variable cost per unit, which is 625. Then we can just multiply that times the flexible budget of 25,000 units and that gives us, let's take a peek, 156,250. So that will be our answer to E. We're getting close now. We need to fill in F, which is fixed expenses and the flexible budget variance. Well, fixed expenses will be based on the master budget. Fixed expenses are fixed, right? So um, at 23,000, that tells me that we have a difference between 23,000, which is our flexible, I'm sorry, our master budget fixed expenses, minus the actual at 15,500, which you see is a favorable variance then of 7,500. We came in lower on fixed expenses than what were estimated. And then finally, we have G, which is total operating expenses. All we need to do in that case under the master budget will be to go ahead and add those two together, 187,500 plus 23,000.